Imagine the excitement that fills our hearts when we embark on a boat or a ship, believing that our journey will lead us to our desired destination unharmed. For the majority of us, this optimistic notion comes to fulfillment. However, there are instances where fate takes an unexpected turn, leaving us perplexed and searching for explanations. From spine-chilling distress signals emitted by vessels with lifeless crews to eerily deserted ships where everything appears to be in perfect order, the world has witnessed an array of enigmatic ghost ships. These maritime mysteries have captured our collective imagination, evoking a sense of wonder and intrigue. Now, let us delve into the realm of these captivating tales as we explore the top 20 most mysterious ghost ships. Number 20. The Haunted MV Joyita the MV Joyita was a ship made in 1913 by the Cochrane Shipbuilders in Selby, England. Originally intended as a fancy yacht, it was later changed into a cargo ship on October 3, 1955. The vessel embarked on a journey to Samoa with 16 crew members and 9 passengers, heading towards the Tokelau Islands. Although the trip was expected to last approximately two days, the ship never reached its destination. A search party was dispatched to find the missing ship. Several days later, the crew of a Royal New Zealand Air Force Sunderland flying boat spotted the ship adrift in the Pacific Ocean. When a rescue team boarded the vessel, they discovered it was in a deteriorated state and that the crew and passengers were nowhere to be found. Despite extensive efforts, no traces of the missing individuals were ever discovered. The mystery surrounding the disappearance of the MV Joyita remains unsolved to this day. Speculations about what might have happened range from piracy and mutiny to a catastrophic mechanical failure. However, without solid evidence, the vanishing of the ship has become one of the most captivating maritime mysteries of the 20th century. The incident has fascinated many people throughout the years and has been the topic of numerous books, documentaries, and even a movie. Number 19. HMS Resolute in 1850, a remarkable British Navy ship called HMS Resolute was constructed. Its main purpose was to embark on a mission to find Sir John Franklin and his crew, who had vanished during their expedition to discover a passage through the Arctic in 1845. The vessel was considered highly advanced for its time. In 1852, the ship got trapped in ice during an Arctic exploration. The crew had to leave the ship behind, assuming it was lost forever. Luckily, in 1855, an American whaling ship discovered the stranded vessel. The brave captain of the whaling ship decided to rescue and bring it back to the United States. The ship was repaired and renovated after being salvaged. 1856, it was returned to the British government as a goodwill gesture. It was then given to the British Navy and used as a training ship for naval cadets. In 1859, the ship was modified and transformed into a polar exploration vessel to continue the search for Franklin. Sadly, the efforts to find Franklin proved fruitless, and in 1879, the HMS Resolute was finally retired from service. However, the ship's journey did not truly come to an end. The timber from the vessel was used to create three desks, which became famous as the Resolute Desks. Number 18, SS Orang Medan. A peculiar tale surrounded a Dutch vessel known as the Orang Medan, which sailed the seas during the 1940s. While passing through the Strait of Malacca, an extraordinary event occurred nearby. Other ships in the vicinity received a distress call, revealing a shocking message that the captain had perished, along with the entire crew. After receiving the distressing message, a chaotic burst of Morse code followed. Then, a voice on the radio uttered the haunting words, I die. Tragically, the investigation that ensued confirmed the person's fate. The crew members were found lifeless, scattered on the deck, their faces turned towards the sun in a chilling manner, as if they had witnessed an unimaginable horror. Even the ship's loyal dog had met a similar fate, growling menacingly at an unseen presence. Additionally, there are accounts of a sudden fire and subsequent evacuation before the vessel exploded and sank. Since that bewildering incident, questions about the cause of the tragedy have persisted. Experts have contemplated whether the ship's cargo hold, which supposedly contained cyanide and nitroglycerin, led to the explosion. 
They also speculate that these deadly materials, having potentially poisoned everyone on board, could explain the absence of visible wounds on many of the bodies. Number 17. RMS Titanic The RMS Titanic was an incredibly famous and tragic ship that was built by the White Star Line in 1909. It stood out as one of the biggest and most luxurious ships during its era. On April 10, 1912, the Titanic embarked on its first journey from Southampton, England, to New York City. However, it never reached its intended destination. Instead, tragedy struck when the ship collided with an iceberg in the North Atlantic Ocean, losing over 1,500 lives. Despite its impressive features and advancements, the ship's fate was sealed by this unfortunate encounter with the iceberg. Captain Edward J. Smith had been warned about icebergs in the vicinity, but he failed to slow down or change the ship's course. As a consequence, the iceberg caused severe damage to the ship's hull. Despite attempts to save the vessel, the Titanic rapidly began to sink. Unfortunately, there weren't enough lifeboats to accommodate all the passengers, and many were unable to escape in time before the ship went down. The rescue operation was difficult due to a lack of communication and coordination with nearby ships. The sinking of the ship had a huge impact on the world, being one of the deadliest maritime disasters in history. Number 16. The Canadian Barge In October 2014, a Canadian barge set off from ATL towards Tuktoyaktuk in the north. However, something extraordinary happened. The barge broke free from its line and embarked on a remarkable solo adventure. Without any crew on board, it traveled an incredible 1,500 miles along the stunning Alaskan coast and ventured into the vast Chukchi Sea. This brave barge defied all expectations, showcasing its independence and leaving onlookers in awe. There was great concern that the barge had been completely lost for a while. But then, in April 2015, it surprised everyone by unexpectedly entering Russian waters. It had managed to survive the winter without any human assistance, much to the relief of its owners, the Canadian Northern Transportation Company. However, they also had to inform the Russians about the possibility that the barge could pose a threat. The barge was carrying sulfur diesel when it went missing, so if it had developed a leak during its months of solo sailing, it could have caused an environmental catastrophe. The World Wildlife Fund eventually got involved in the rescue operation, and fortunately, the Russians were able to recover the wandering barge without any further problems. Number 15. Lusitania Ship In May 1915, the Lusitania, a ship traveling from New York to Liverpool, faced a dangerous situation that could have been prevented. Despite warnings from German authorities in U.S. newspapers and previous sinkings of British merchant ships by German submarines, the ship decided to embark on its voyage. Tragically, as it neared its destination, a German U-boat had already sunk three British ships near the southern coast of Ireland, the very route the Lusitania was about to take. Despite multiple warnings regarding the presence of U-boats, Captain William Turner ignored them and proceeded along the planned route. The ship even slowed down in foggy conditions, increasing the risk. Captain Turner disregarded instructions, approaching the shore where U-boats hid instead of keeping a safer distance. He also failed to maintain top speed and neglected the zigzagging tactic used by other vessels for safety. Consequently, a German U-20 submarine launched a torpedo at the ship, which struck its hull 18 minutes later, tragically sinking it. The incident claimed the lives of 1,195 out of the 1,959 people on board. Although Captain Turner survived, the sinking of the ship played a significant role in shaping public opinion and ultimately influenced America's decision to enter the war. Number 14. Zabrina In 1873, the Zabrina, a sailing barge built in Whistlebowl, England, was meant to be a trading ship on the river plate in South America. However, it never reached its intended destination. Instead, the ship was used on European waters. It gained a reputation as a reliable and robust vessel over the years. However, in October 1917, during a routine trip from Falmouth, England to St. Brio, France, the ship mysteriously vanished. The ship was carrying a load of coal from Swansea. Just two days after departing Cornwall, it was sighted at Roselle Point, located south of the French city of Cherbourg, apparently stranded. Surprisingly, no significant damage was visible on the ship, but it had not sent any distress signals, and its crew was nowhere to be found. 
This is the extent of the information available regarding the incident. The prevailing theory suggests that a German submarine captured the crew of the ship, but subsequently met its own demise at the hands of a British warship. However, the absence of bullet holes on the ship and the lack of a distress call raise doubts about this explanation. As there is no further evidence to rely upon, the case remains unsolved, and the fate of the crew of Zabrina remains a mystery. Number 13. The Costa Concordia. The Costa Concordia, a large cruise ship, sank near Italy's coast in 2012, resulting in one of the worst recent maritime disasters. This tragic incident claimed the lives of 32 passengers and crew members and caused significant environmental damage. Owned by Costa Cruises, a subsidiary of Carnival Corporation, the ship was one of the world's biggest passenger ships. On January 13, 2012, it veered off its intended course near the island of Giglio while carrying over 4,200 passengers and crew. The ship's captain, Francesco Cettino, made a grave error by steering the vessel too close to the shore, leading it to collide with a rock and causing a significant breach in its hull. Despite the seriousness of the situation, the captain failed to promptly order an evacuation, delaying it for over an hour. Tragically, this led to the loss of lives and severe environmental damage. It stands as the worst maritime disaster involving a passenger ship since the Titanic sank in 1912. The ship's environmental impact was severe, leaking fuel and pollutants into the sea, harming the local marine ecosystem. Legal battles followed, with the captain and crew facing criminal charges. Even today, the survivors' and victims' families are haunted by this tragedy. Number 12. The Ocean Wave In April 1976, a Spanish fishing trawler named the Eduardo Pond L came across a very small sailboat near the south coast of Ireland. The boat was partially submerged in the water, but the crew managed to pull it out onto their deck. To their dismay, they discovered evidence that a daring attempt to cross the Atlantic Ocean had ended in failure. The boat's cabin contained identification documents confirming it as the Ocean Wave, and its sole occupant, a Dutch conceptual artist named John Adder, was missing. The hull of the Ocean Wave was covered in thick barnacles, indicating that the boat had been adrift for at least six months. Consequently, it was quickly assumed that Adder had been lost at sea. This marked the disappointing conclusion to what Adder had hoped would be a remarkable ocean voyage. He had embarked from Chatham, Massachusetts, USA, ten months prior. Could it truly be that his misfortune simply resulted from him getting lost? His camera and notebooks were absent from the cabin while everything else remained intact. However, Adder's students were convinced that he had faked his own death to start a new life elsewhere. Perhaps they were correct in their suspicions. Number 11. The John Seng. The enormous ocean is incredibly vast, so it's not very surprising that a massive 80-meter-long tanker was left adrift in the sea for an extremely long time before it was eventually discovered. This ship, later identified as the John Seng, had an unknown origin. In 2006, it was spotted drifting near Waipa, Queensland, by an Australian coast watch plane. Upon closer examination, it was determined that the ship was not functioning properly. Its tow rope was broken, and there was no one on board. All the identifying marks of the vessel had been removed, although there were no signs of violence or illegal activities. Despite efforts, the Coast Guard was unable to trace the ship's origin. As a result, they intentionally sank it in deep water. When authorities boarded the ship, they found no evidence of recent human presence, but a significant quantity of rice was on board. This led some to speculate that it may have been used as a resupply vessel for fishing boats operating outside the Australian exclusive economic zone. Both engines were inoperable and could not be restarted, and various components had been extensively removed. It is probable that the ship was being towed to a scrapyard when the towing line snapped. Number 10. SS Valencia The SS Valencia, a steamship built in 1882, has a tragic tale that has fascinated historians and maritime enthusiasts for over a century. Known for its reliability, the ship had safely transported people and cargo across the Pacific Ocean. However, in January 1906, disaster struck when the ship collided with rocks near Vancouver Island, Canada, claiming the lives of over a hundred passengers and crew. Scheduled to sail from San Francisco to Seattle, 
the ship encountered a severe winter storm, making navigation impossible due to heavy fog and strong winds. Despite Captain James Johnson's attempts to change course, the ship ran aground on a rocky outcrop, leaving those on board stranded. Rough waters and the treacherous shoreline hindered efforts to launch lifeboats, resulting in many passengers and crew being swept overboard or trapped on the sinking ship. Despite rescue attempts, more than a hundred lives were lost in this tragic event. In the aftermath, tales emerged of the ghost ship of the SS Valencia. Witnesses claimed to see the spectral vessel sailing along the Vancouver Island coast, its ghostly crew and passengers forever trapped in the icy Pacific waters. The anguished cries and moans of those lost echoed through the fog-covered coastline, perpetuating the haunting legacy of this maritime tragedy. Number 9. Mar Sem Fim Sometimes we can't help but think that the people who come up with names for ships are deliberately inviting problems. This beautiful yacht from Brazil goes by the name Mar Sem Fim, which when translated to English means endless sea. Well, it almost lived up to its name by becoming a permanent ocean resident. The unfortunate incident took place in 2012 when the ship sank at Ardley Cove in Antarctica. Interestingly, it briefly turned into a popular photo spot for Antarctic tourists, as the outline of the vessel could be seen below the water. During warmer months, parts of the ship would partially emerge from the waves, creating the illusion of a ghost ship gracefully floating. Fortunately, the four-person crew on board, who were filming a documentary about the Antarctic, managed to call for help and were safely rescued by a Chilean vessel. However, the ship itself remained firmly stuck and couldn't be immediately salvaged. To make matters worse, the water that had flooded the hull froze and caused it to split. It took more than a year and a complex process involving buoys to bring the ship back to the surface. Sadly, by that time, it had suffered significant damage, making it likely that the ship would be scrapped. Number 8. Donald Crowhurst in the Cayman Islands lies an eerie and abandoned ship surrounded by decaying wreckage. Its missing captain, Donald Crowhurst, has left behind haunting remnants. This cursed wreck carries a dark reputation. Crowhurst, a British businessman and inexperienced sailor, embarked on an ill-fated endeavor in 1969. With ambitious but misguided plans to compete in a global sailing race, he soon realized his lack of skills and equipment would prevent him from finishing. In a desperate act, he switched off his radio and aimlessly drifted across the vast Atlantic Ocean. Providing false reports of his location to the race organizers, he hoped to rejoin in last place as his opponents approached. Sadly, he never reached that point. Over time, Crowhurst's behavior became increasingly erratic. He spent his days writing a lengthy 25,000-word manifesto on achieving transcendence into another dimension. It is believed that he either had an accident and fell overboard or deliberately threw himself off the boat due to his deteriorating mental state. The strange and unstable nature of his writing indicated a severe psychological breakdown. The vessel was eventually recovered and sold to Jamaican fishermen, but it repeatedly ran aground. In 1983, it found its final resting place, where it remains today. Perhaps it is best to let this wreck remain undisturbed and left alone, for its history is one of haunting mystery and tragedy. Number 7. A Vessel of Disaster The Rio Unmaru, a Japanese fishing boat, gained global notoriety when it disappeared during the devastating Tohoku earthquake and tsunami in 2011. Owned by Hachi Nohe City in Aomori Prefecture, this 64-foot-long vessel was built in 1968 and primarily used for fishing, including squid and salmon. Unfortunately, at the time of the earthquake and tsunami, the ship was docked at a fishing port in Aomori Prefecture, which was heavily impacted by the catastrophic event. When the tsunami hit the Japanese coast in March 2011, a massive wave surged and overwhelmed the port where the ship was anchored. The force of the wave was so strong that it broke the ship free from its moorings, sending it drifting into the open sea. Despite efforts by the Japanese Coast Guard to locate the vessel, the ship remained unseen for over a year. In April 2013, the U.S. Coast Guard found Rio Unmaru, an adrift ship in the Pacific Ocean, for over a year. It was discovered off the coast of Alaska. The Coast Guard determined that the ship was in a hazardous state, endangering nearby ships. As a result, they chose to sink the vessel, thus concluding the extraordinary voyage of the ghost ship, 
Rio Unmaru. Number 6. MV Alta. A strong ship can sail on the ocean for a long time, but no ship can stay afloat indefinitely. The MV Alta had a long life after its launch in 1976 as a cargo vessel. However, it was eventually abandoned due to a complete loss of power while sailing between Greece and Haiti in September 2018. The crew found themselves trapped inside the powerless ship for 20 days until the U.S. Coast Guard eventually found and rescued them. By that time, the Alta had drifted almost all the way to Puerto Rico. Unfortunately, attempts to recover the stranded ship proved unsuccessful, and the crew had to be airlifted to safety while the vessel was deemed lost at sea. But the story didn't end there. Surprisingly, the ship changed course without a crew and started heading back toward Europe. After sailing alone across international waters for a year and a half, it miraculously arrived undamaged on the coastline of County Cork in Ireland in February 2020. It has become a popular tourist attraction, and there is still a chance to salvage and repair the merchant vessel. However, a final decision regarding its future is yet to be made. It remains stranded on the rocky Irish coast, captivating visitors with its intriguing tale. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. This mysterious ship washed up on Ireland's coast, and there wasn't a single trace of any crew. It had no markings to show which country it belonged to, no branding, no flags, absolutely nothing. Moreover, it was incredibly rusty, as if it had been abandoned for a long time. Here is an artistic recreation of how the ship might have looked. Unfortunately, we cannot share the actual ship because nobody dared to enter it when it first washed up. Strangely, it vanished during the night and was never seen again. What do you think happened? Could there have been people on board? Please share your opinion regarding what we just showed on the screen. Number 5. The Kaz 2. The Kaz 2 catamaran was discovered adrift off the Australian coast in 2007, with no trace of its three-person crew. They seem to have vanished mysteriously, leaving everything behind. The scene remained unchanged, with food on a set table, a working GPS, life jackets, and an open laptop. Speculations arose, suggesting the crew members, Peter and John Turnstead, and Skipper de Batten, had staged their disappearance for insurance purposes. Others speculated about drug smugglers, pirates, or even paranormal events. However, after a year of speculation, a coroner took on the task of unraveling the truth behind the missing men. A tragic incident occurred on the catamaran during their two-month journey to Western Australia. The coroner, Michael Barnes, determined that a chain of unfortunate events led to the demise of the inexperienced sailors. One of the brothers fell overboard while trying to untangle a fishing line from the propeller. The other brother attempted a rescue but also ended up in the water. In an effort to maneuver the yacht and save the men, the skipper was knocked overboard by an unexpected swing of the boom. Sadly, in the rough waters, all three men struggled to reach the catamaran and likely drowned, unable to make it back to safety. Number 4. The CEO. If you were to talk to the friends of Manfred Fritz Badger OTT, the adventurous German sailor, they would say that he wasn't afraid of losing his life at sea the way he did. They were used to not hearing from him for weeks or even months while he sailed his yacht, the CEO around the world. However, in the year 2014, he embarked on an expedition that turned out to be a journey beyond his limits. After more than two months without any word from Manfred, a search and rescue mission was initiated. Sadly, they couldn't find any trace of the CEO. It wasn't until the following February that the yacht was finally spotted near Barbeau in the Philippines. A group of French sailors boarded the yacht hoping to find someone alive, but Manfred had already passed away at his desk several months earlier. By that time, his body had become mummified, with a radio transmitter near his hand and a farewell letter to his wife in front of him. Manfred was discovered surrounded by pictures of his loved ones, which hopefully brought him some solace in his final moments. Apart from torn sails, the yacht remained undamaged, making it challenging to determine the exact circumstances of his death. Number 3. Octavius In 1716, Octavius departed London, England for Asia. The following year, the ship arrived safely. However, the captain, enticed by the unusually warm weather, decided to take a daring detour on their journey back home. They aimed to navigate the Northwest Passage, a treacherous route connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans through the Arctic Ocean in Canada's northern region. 
At that time, no one had successfully completed this perilous voyage. It wasn't until 1850 that Robert McClure discovered an ice-bound northern route, and it took another 50 years before a ship successfully made the journey. Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen spent four years accomplishing this feat from 1903 to 1906. Sadly, Octavius's captain overestimated their abilities, leading to tragic consequences. Thirteen years after their departure, the Herald, a whaling ship, stumbled upon the Octavius buried in ice in 1775. The frozen remains of all 28 crew members, including the captain's wife and child, were discovered on board. Eerily, the captain was found seated at his desk, pen in hand, with the ship's last known position recorded 250 miles north of Alaska. The ship was located west of Greenland, indicating that the vessel had successfully traversed the narrow passages of the Northwest Passage after the crew's demise. Number 2. Seabird There's a lot of talk and guessing about what happened on the merchant ship called the Seabird. It's difficult to know what's true and what's not. Here are some of the important facts. The ship was led by a man named John Hook until 1715, and there was nothing unusual about it before then. It was spotted approaching Newport Harbor and Rhode Island during the summer of that year, appearing to sail normally. It was only when it came closer that people realized there was no crew on board. The ship could have been wrecked violently by the sea, but instead, it calmly sailed through the waves and settled on East and Speech, allowing a rescue team to come aboard. The only living beings they found were the ship's cat and dog. The crew was missing, but no one could determine why they had left. The kettle on the stove looked used and breakfast was set up on the kitchen tables. The lifeboat was gone, indicating that the crew had left the ship. They likely reached land before leaving. Captain Buxom and his crew disappeared, and the seabird on its own broke free from the beach the next day and sailed away, becoming a legendary tale. Number 1. The Unsinkable Ghost Ship One of the most captivating tales from the Arctic is about the SS Baikimo, a deserted ship that had been floating in its frozen waters for nearly a hundred years. The Baikimo, a cargo ship weighing 1,300 tons, was constructed in Sweden in 1914. It was primarily used to transport valuable goods such as furs, timber, and other supplies between Canada and the United States. In 1931, while on its way back to Vancouver, the ship became trapped in ice. Fearing that it would sink, the crew abandoned the vessel. However, to everyone's surprise, the ship refused to succumb. It managed to break free from the icy grip and began drifting aimlessly in the Arctic Ocean for the following years. This mysterious ship intrigued many as it defied nature's laws and stayed afloat despite harsh conditions. It maneuvered through the ice for almost a decade before disappearing. Over the years, sporadic sightings of the ship occurred, solidifying its status as a legendary ghost ship haunting the Arctic seas. Rumored to be cursed and inhabited by malevolent spirits, the ship continued its relentless drift. In 1962, nearly 30 years after its abandonment, a group of Inuit hunters spotted the ship. They promptly reported their discovery to the Canadian government, but an extensive search for the Baichimo yielded no results. Which of these mysterious ghost ships frightened you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and we'll see you again in the next one.